So, here we are again. Welcome. Been a bit off the streams. I'm on vacation now. So, I took some days off. Well, mostly off. The huge gameplay streams and whatnot. So, with the upcoming 3.8. I'm feeling like, oh, the, the teddy is back. Last time I was here, it, it wasn't. It was gone both the teddy and um, the ointment, cybernetic ointment. Or like oil. Oil and aloe vera, who knows. Um, yeah, 3.8 is like almost here. And it's going to be a huge change. So, I mean, I, I've been playing this game for uh, quite some time now. I mean, ever now and then, not actually play it like for real. But going through this process of testing, it does leave you with an advantage. And that is that you're gonna you're able to see stuff that future that, that in the future is not gonna be in the game anymore because it's in development stuff changes all the time. And now with the 3.8 um, V4, the planet tech, it's gonna be everything. Everything is going to change. Nothing is going to look the same anymore. Need help? A friendly so will be happy to assist. About time we paid our respects to the current versions of the moons and planets and start thinking about saying goodbye to them. Because everything is going to change. If you have like a favorite spot on the planet it might be gone. Everything is going to change the way that they lay out. Where the mountains are, where the lakes are, everything. It is going to be interesting and sad at the same time. Oh, it still has the the conventions. Already over. They left it here, I guess. Still part of the patch. Not be removed. Like that. Like I reckon our corp and larvae will mostly remain the same because it's it's buildings that's that are being repeated over the over the layout. I'm gonna guess they're gonna use the same buildings. I mean no maybe some updates here and there but on the cities there won't be much of a difference, but there still be a difference. The moons, the old moons like uh, Levski. I want to go to Levski. I want to take one last good look at Levski. Levski to me at least has always been like that place, especially in the beginning when was like the first place you'd go that had like the stores and like the actual environment of people living there that feeling of having a, a, a life place that's alive that for me at least was with Levski for the first time well, for me and for most people I mean Oli Sari is what it is but Levski was that step the direction of having more lore world feel more alive and now well we have city planets so yeah we've come a long way a bloody long way so I think I'm probably going to check the both moons of Arcorp I mean, they're, they're still way more recent than the other ones, but I'm still gonna check them anyway. 
just a quick look to see how the terrain looks, trying to actually have a recording of it as well, for memory sake. Like in a couple of years, I'm gonna be looking at this and gonna be like, wow, the game looked like shit before. Look at that, all those graphics were so bad. I mean, right now I'm flabbergasted by them, but... I, I was like that, like, two years ago, and look at the game now, it, it's not the same game. And, and, and it's still not, it's not even its final, final form. Far from it. All goes well, it will never have a final form. And the World of Warcraft has been supported for so many years. And to me, I mean, I played it for like, seven years? Eight years, maybe? And it just stopped being fun after a while. Just way too repetitive, uh, and I, at least right now, I, I don't see, I cannot see that happening with Star Citizen. Because... Anger 1. Even because it's a modular game. I mean, never going to be finished. Never. Anywho. Stable. That guy is asking how can he increase the oxygen time. I'm like, when? I mean, not even once I have ever gotten to even half of the oxygen tank. So, like, what the hell is he doing? Ah, uh, my 300 eye. I just uploaded a video of the. The old tree under the eye. But different. I like this one much more. More graphics. Well, more polygons. That that's nice. Oh. Polygons. I like polygons very much. Or. Oh. Oh, they changed the the shot position. Nice. You are clear to launch. I wonder how the, the new camera is going to look. Like if I just leave without any input, will it do like... And the line itself, like a proper camera? I hope so. That would be nice. Anyway, let's go up, up, up. Up on the way, maximum speed, yes. I 
I wonder if uh, on the next patch you can follow those highways. I think they're moving a lot more now than they were before though. Like right that like you can see through the floor to the ground of the Oh oh no. Those small things. That's probably gonna change. The pop-up is probably going to change as well even though it's city, not terrain, but I'm gonna say that the texture the global texture that they use was updated as well. Are we in space? Sounds like we're in space. Things are weaker. They're still resting. We're like like ten seconds away. And thousands. So oh. it's cool. Where the hell am I? Oh, here I am. Now let's close and open because it bugs on the first time it does so. Fall area, it's closer. Quick local area, then Walla. Then I'm so far away, but I'm going to. I'm going, yeah, I'm going directly to Delamar first. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be a huge trip though. Huge trip. Might as well go to Hurston first. It's on the way. And we'll do. We'll... I'll go like that. Oh no! It's police. Yeah, just some police. Hello, Master Police. Come and expect me, I'm clean as always all. Once I saw like a video of the guy, of a guy that was smuggling stuff, actually illegal stuff, and uh, he got interdicted. And what he did was very quickly got off his pilot seat, threw the box of illegal goods outside his ship. They did the scan, didn't find anything, so he went back in space, got the the stuff, and went on his way. And I think they bugged. The, I mean, they were supposed to be scanning me. I guess they... I mean, I do have crime stat. They should actually be shooting at me, shouldn't they? I forgot I had the crime stat. How the fuck am I going? I just said fuck, I need to mark this video for adults again. This, this is why I cannot have a, an 18, 18 year old limit on here. I need that. I'm off. I, I just have a fucking potty mouse. I, it's, it, it, there's no use. I'm too used to it. It's the movies, man. They're, they ruin me. I blame the movies. Need to check my system heat. 7000. I don't even remember at what temperature it starts to overheating this. Why am I doing this? I can just. Quantum man about this. I'd like to be on the sunny side though. 500 kilometers. 100, 500. Uh, 500. This, this is all on the other side. Oh, this one. This one's here. Oh, Levski is busy tonight. We think we're going there. Can you? 
Like sometimes it's nice when you don't when you quantum without stopping your ship. Because you can manage to do stuff like that. But I'm coming it a bit too hot though. Am I? It's controlled now. Oh good. So here are we. But, um what was the name? Ita. Are we at Ita? Area. Ita is on Erston. And this one has a very low atmosphere. Oh, well, this is what was the one where, where I did those. I mean, right now I'm like, it looks. Looks very good. Everything looks very nice. Kinda hard to believe that they're going to improve this further. But they are. If I cut that for you bothered landing. <laughs> oh, I hope when we get to Lefsky stuff is still <sighs> Wonder if this is still gonna happen on the next patch. The the scattering why can't I prone? I want to prone. Prone! Sir, please prone, sir. Not crawl. I want you to crawl, I want you to prone. Oh, he doesn't want to prone. Not prone to that. Be here on the flutter surface? But yeah, I wonder if the object scattering it's still gonna float around or it follows the geometry better. It's knowing. Knowing and that is what what is the Oh that's Arcorp. Arcorp. Hello Arcorp. Aren't you so far away and still I can see you? Crazy shit. Yeah. It already looks so good. I mean, sure, you can always say that it could use some work. Like here, you have a uh, overlaying of uh, two assets. Either that, or it's supposed to be a layer based on depth. I don't know. 
have the same thing going on here. Probably every little ice patch has one or two like one over the left. I just cannot wait for these moons and planets to actually have stuff like turn to the left and there's like an animal under a rock turn to the right and there's some fruit to pick up turn back and there's like a wolf trying to attack you a space wolf space wolf one has it Look suspicious. The geyser. You no, know they. There are geysers on this moon. I have no idea where. Oh, it's a big moon anyway, I guess. Huh? Very hard to find the stuff on a bigger place. Huh? I'm gonna go straight to Dalamar after. Because I want the. Uh, oh, the sun is raining. Because I want a direct comparison from a very recent moon to a very old moon. And then they're gonna be all the same. All with the same planet tech goodness. Sun is rising! <clears throat> I'm so sick. Winter is very nice, except when you start getting sick. The only thing about about winter that I don't like. I love the rain, I love the thunder. I actually like the cold. Being sick. I don't know how's the weather in your country or your, your area, but here lately it's been harsh as fuck. It's either warm, nice, sunny, and like five minutes after is like raining, cold, windy. Very, very random. This is something I really like to see. Like this overlapping of mountains and depth, different depth. Depth, 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 depth. Like here it could have a bit more quality, but then again. Well, I'm gonna say all of that is going to look better because they also changed the color palettes, sunsets and stuff like that. Like uh, I already said it once, more than once. So I'm gonna say it more than again. Like 3.8 is going to be something quite, quite eye-catching. Very, very high. -catching. want to go up there. I wish I could go up there. Well, I could just get my ship and just get closer like that. I can jump enough height here. Oh, 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 I'm... I want to go up there. I want them to put this, the, the climbing system that they had on caves, but everywhere. Everywhere! A climb over. And like, just just do it like Zelda, actually. Like the, the Breath of the Wild. Get up to any wall and just crawl the, the shit out of it. Maybe have some climbing gear even, I don't care what they do to justify it, I just wanna do it. Like some... some base grappling hook, I don't know. Make me want to be... There's like one thing that most people have done in lots of games, lots of games, it's hill climbing. Like, we've been climbing hills for ages. Ever since Oblivion and Skyrim, like, who doesn't, who hasn't uh, tried to climb like a very step hill? <laughs> Star Citizen could actually have some gameplay for that. I'd like that. Never ima imagined myself as a, a mountaineer, but hey, it can work. 
Could work. I'd like it. I'd at least try it. I mean, I'd love... Like I said, I'd love just to be able to climb up a rock. Just climb up a rock. Like, I don't care if I need to leave off my gear behind. Just want to be able to climb this. Everything. Full exploration freedom. That's what we all want, isn't it? That would be a step in that direction. Like they, and like they haven't talked about it like not even once, and I think most people don't even care much about it, but I do. That is underwater gameplay. Eventually they'll have to do it, right? Eventually they'll be like, well, probably time to make some underwater content with some fishes, maybe even some water simulations like something hardcore that we haven't seen before I mean they'd probably be crazy enough to do something like that look at what they're doing with the cloth anyway the cloth simulations that are totally unnecessary but hey they look cool as fuck and I've watched them in games for years now and most no game does actual cloth simulation they do simulations um, they're usually pre-baked simulations Look amazing, but they're not real time. Yo, let's move to. Um... It's going to be such a long travel, though. But just for the sake of time saving, I'm gonna go straight to the Levski. Gonna be straight to Levski. I mean, I see the Hurston ones, but they're recent enough. They're gonna look good like this one does. It does look very nice though. Like those little pop ends and texture changes, and actually, uh, it's probably very hard to tell, especially on the video, and can't exactly point but you sometimes you can even see like the lines the squares where the textures are intersecting sometimes it's pretty obvious but damn does it look good sometimes i feel like i'm watching a cgi scene from a movie right now if i don't if i don't like have the if we just remove the ship from you completely oh well mm. there ought to be like a secret angle that I can find so that my ship doesn't show Trying to look for the secret camera angle. There's no angle. Oh well. Anywho. Mm, start breaking our ship. And. Let's see our power. Turn off this. Uh, the power is. Overclock our quantum drive. Let we quantum faster. Not that much faster, but it is faster. And let's go on our big journey. Very big journey. Oh shit, I cannot do this. Can I? How can I? As if... I have the crime stat. I'll, I'll... Well, nothing like trying, I guess. Nothing like trying. Let's go. Let's just hope I can land there somehow. 
Because I'm, I mean, I think if, even if I land illegally, as long as I'm in the hangar, I respawn there. I think so. Quantum drive activated. Goodbye, Mr. Moon. And I'm going to be interdicted. Or maybe I could just get rid of the crime stat like that, right? If I get attacked by them. By the police. They're police? Contact. They're, no, that's not police. Just the Nine Tails. Ah, oh, fuck you, Nine Tails. Don't attack me, please. I don't want no fight. Goodbye. Someone else is getting attacked, though. Alright, should be a smooth sailing from now on, so I'm going to be right back. Not even think what it would be like to lose 400k just like <laughs> blowing up in the air. So much money.
like when I used to play Freelancer, which is also a space game by Chris Roberts, and also the reason why I backed the game in the first place. I barely even backed the game, not of, of the promises, not because of the Kickstarter video, just because, oh, Chris Roberts, oh, made Freelancer, oh, he's making another space game. That was all it took. Freelancer, Wing Commander for the, the older people. Never played Wing Commander, I'm, I'm not from that age. But Freelancer, damn, I played Freelancer so much. Used to do... Like, the, the, it still was a pretty big universe, but most of it was... Well, it, there was like fast travel like this, actually. The, the game only had loading screens when changing. Uh, solar systems and entering well actually entering pretty much everything else but while we were in the space you could still move around like star city I mean planets were not to scale moons were not to scale of course I mean some planets barely looked bigger than your ship but uh, they, they it was very I'd, I'd lose like more than half an hour just going from one point of the universe the galaxy to the, to the other Doing cargo runs on an offline game. It sure was fun though. It also had very nice visuals and the song, the, the environment, the ambience. Still is nice. It's nothing compared to this game now, of course. Um. Song. I guess time this way. And I have a crime stat, but I really didn't do much. I only tried out the mantis. That was the only thing I did. Like, I, I don't think you should get um, the time stat just for using the, the quantum interdiction. You don't catch anyone. No one's watching you. There's no ships around. You shouldn't get the crime stat. Only if someone detects you on a patrol, seen by another player. Wouldn't it be fun if you could report a crime, like after the fact? But then again, I guess that would introduce a lot of griefing towards or the play. So I guess scratch that. Unless there was a system to it. Like the game could detect if a crime was committed in front of you and gave you the option to report, the, report it or not. Maybe. That I mean, uh, that's the other thing with the game, like the gameplay loops. Sometimes I like I have to refill, I have to buy munition for my ship, and I, I, I don't. I don't. I just blow the ship up, reclaim it. It's faster, and it doesn't cost me any money. Even if I expedite it, I'm gonna be spending much less money than if I actually and buy the the missiles back. The fuel and repair the ship. Repairing the ship is usually that one. I actually do refuel. Depends on the situation. When it's too much, I just blow up the ship. Comes with a free tank of fuel anytime it responds. So I mean, comes without a scratch. I 
one of these days I'm gonna have a ship with a flag right on top of it. Then every time I enter atmosphere it's going to burn up. It's okay, I don't care. I'll buy many, many flags. Every time I go into a planet, I'll put a new flag up. Watch it burn. Almost there. We're like... Where the fuck are we? Have we passed? Yeah. Past the sun. And we're almost there. And either I'll be able to get into an open hangar or I'll just land outside. Go in. Okay. Because I want the cluster. I. Where is the left ski? Uh, oh, it's there. Good old left. Fuck. Find the. I kind of wish they also fixed that for the next, next patch. I mean, the star map is so clunky. It's functional, but it's so clunky. Could be better. I mean, they could just try to finish the, the functional side and update the... I mean, they must have touched it for the next... They changed the global texture. They have at least pro probably changed the texture here as well. Yeah, prison gameplay. Almost in Delamar. <laughs> For the record, that was a fart with my hands, not a real fart. If you heard it, I do have microphone voice detection. I do have this this habit. My hands together. with my hands <laughs> make songs with it I don't know if it actually capturing with the sensitivity I don't know if it captured it but there's the intention five million kilometers almost there
looking back at the old 300 i i like it much more when it was traveling like this it had more particles were more accentuated there was were, they were more blue there was much more blue it's literally the only thing i don't like about the new 300 i other one was so, so much more strong rail was much stronger than the I like the blue where millions to millions wouldn't it be funny that I just got there got attacked by some police died and had to go all the way back wouldn't that be nice me the, the most tense moments of star citizen star citizen is when you do a long quantum travel and you need to land to save like your progress if you crash you're gonna go all the way back yeah when it comes to prisons i i mean there are prisons in the game yeah like the guy says not in an mmo Levski. It does already look worse from afar. Compared to uh what what uh, the R Corp Mona. I know I, I was confusing it with Ita and the name was something else. There we go? I don't know. It was the IC one. There's Levski. Over there. Good old Levski. I cannot tell if it's on the other side or it's actually on the other side. Quantum drive activated. Go to the night side of the moon. Feel some light. Contact. Contact. So, there's no atmosphere here. I mean, they. I think only only Grimex lets you land when you have crime stat. I think so. For sure. Oh, here we go. One oh, it does. Go. Wait, they're like uh, I'm stat by jurisdiction in? Oh, there really is a lot of people at Lesky. They weren't lying. That, like, did I have like a good, a good? Where is the? Oh, right here. I have like a good timing or what? Really is 
Like, what's that over there? Part of Levski. Is it so full of people there? Got the, the barter. It's the barter stuff. Well, let's get closer to the the door. And move out. While well, it's landing, uh, it's stopping. I didn't want you to stop. I wanted you to keep calling. Get and turn off the engines. Engines. No? Off? Engines. It okay. Oh, good. <laughs> welcome. Yes, I'm very welcome. I'm happy. I didn't think I was going to be able to land like this. But are the crime stat areas on? Like if I do a crime on Hurston, can I go to Harcorp? Or like here? Because it's a different jurisdiction. No. Pressed another floor by mistake. Damn, that guy really did a rig big sense. Not what I want. Lobby. Yes, that is where you'd go to get your land vehicle. There's like a gate. Oh. Like a gate. So many people. Oh, my mic. My mic. Why isn't the mic? The mic. The mic, the mic. Oh yeah, I did change it last time. For some reason. Remember. Remember. Now I'd like to take off my armor. And just walk around, but if I take off my armor, I cannot have the shed, which is also something that I hate. Sure, yeah, it makes sense, like the shed is on the visor of the helmet, blah blah blah, but... It's just too bad. Like, I don't know if most people know this, you have, like, stores or ships in Lorville and stuff, but you also have here the one at Levski, the teaches. It's a shop. This was actually the first place where you actually got that um, car stand experience with chips. Where they first implemented stuff. Back then you couldn't rent, you could only just buy, but still that was already a, a big improvement to the game. Just quickly look what uh, the guy wrote before it disappears. Well, I leave you guys just looking over here like it's not that big. But this is well, yeah, this is where it started. The first implementation of buying games, uh, buying ships with in-game currency while in-game. Yeah, the first time was just a revolution, like the when they launched the renting again. Well, almost any patch now is a huge revolution anyway. Well, let's read the guy said. How do I write in three? How did he write in there? That like that. Uh, come on, I want to jump. Let me jump. Thank you. I'm a jumpy guy. You can jump like over this as well, but you'll die, so that's not fun. 
Good job. Yeah. You'll remember working my ass off to buy this. And then... I got the... Uh, cutlass Black. If only I could have... I mean, if only I could have gotten a Cutlass Black back then. Black. Black back. Black back then. Because it's still so expensive, like a million. One million! But I think this would be like the first ship that I'd buy in the game. I don't know how long the 300 i is going to be able to take me, but this would be my my, sh my second ship. In this case, in this case my, my first bot ship. It's big, it has weapons, it is multi-crew, has cargo space, it has enough space to fit a, a Tumbrel Cyclone, uh, or a couple of these with a buggy or something else. So that's all I need in a ship. Versatility. Like the 300 i is kind of like that already, but it's still a weak ship and it's not multi crew. So having something like that, especially on the offensive, like the guns on this beast, I mean, compared to mine. Like I've heard that I can change the weapons on the 300 i but. Last time I tried, I couldn't. They were locked, because they were locked ever since the rework, and I don't know if it's because of the rework. It's just me that, I, the, that I'm bugged. Or... If it's just locked, because that's... It's like... I don't know if it's here... I don't know if she's here now... Yeah, it's still a read only. You not do anything here. I'd like to change the, the weapons at least. Like, because the weapons on this are not. I mean, compared to the ones I could have, because I saw some guy a long time ago. Even on the, 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 the previous 300 I, the, before the rework. He was like showing stuff on his video and like. It was so good. Is this a player? Yes. It is. Hello, sir. I, I want to use the elevator, please. Thank you. Um. What was I saying? Completely lost now. I think about the 300 I, I remember. I... Ah, the weapons. I was... The guy was showing like, I hey, keep this, this weapon and that weapon and... I saw him like shredding through fighters, like the nine tails and stuff. Shredding through it like so well. I can barely shoot something with this ship like this. down to the the grand barter grand barter Imagine spying on players with that tool. Like, yeah, for the people that didn't see, they basically made um, 
software tool that is very functional, almost looks like a game actually. But it's for the devs only and it allows them to control the resources, the economic state, the NPCs, like mostly anything actually on the on the systems, on the on, uh, on everything, like the way that the NPCs, where they work, what are they receiving for the wages, what, uh, where are they doing their job, are they doing it okay, where the patrols of security are, where the pirates are, how much mines, how many mines are, are active on a certain planet, how many NPCs are working on those mines, how are they stimulating the economy, vice versa. And yeah, so one like it's a real powerful tool. Just make me go like, oh, anyone just at any time can go like, we need to change that in that system because a couple of players did this and now it's unbalanced. I mean, the system is is dynamic, even the the way that everything works. Long story short, it's like a very powerful management and monitoring tool for for every server. Like it's not even server based, it's every server shown at the same time, like they actually have like points, like a 3D map and like points that show where players are, what are they doing, what missions do they have on, like with a couple of clicks you can add missions to the game, change something. Really did an amazing job, like for iteration purposes and real time monitoring, like eventually I'm actually imagining like there's going to be a team at Star Citizen that their only job is going to be to monitor the systems and what players are doing with the systems, making sure that the uh, missions are flowing well, that uh, the way I see it, they're doing a lot of stuff that's monitored and they're, they're probably going to want to, to be monitoring that. Ah, the good old door. I've had this bug like things forever, like that door. There's always a door into space. I mean, this time is not as much spacey. You can kind of see it, but it's still black. But no, it's 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 not the same bug anymore. Very close, though. Before you couldn't see like even the open or or this over here. You cannot see anything. But now you can. Now looks more like a, a lightning bug than a texture bug. Yeah, this is the area. We have some cool armor. Like, I mean, now that they are sold pretty much everywhere. But before you had to be well. Before and hopefully in the future again, you'll actually have to move to these places in order to buy that. Armors are more specific to places. So, let's move our asses out of here. And we have some little mining shit over there. Like, this is not a tour of Levski, but it's still. Not a small place. I don't even know where this one goes anymore. I think it was Wallace. Wallace was on the this. Was it? I don't remember where Wallace was. Reco is here. On the other side. Where am I listening to? Well, I'm not listening, but someone talked and activated the subtitle. But yeah, I totally think that Wallace was over here. Yeah, yes. I haven't seen him in a long time. Hello, Wallace. How are you doing? What the hell do you want? It's called Clem. Maybe the name is Wallace Clem? I don't remember. <gasps> I don't have money. What? That 
that's bugged. I don't have money. Why don't I have money? That's weird. At like 20k. 20k. Roto. Maybe it was Wallace Wallace Clem. The name Wallace Clem. Anywho. Now I'm gonna try to buy something. Where's the money? You want the money? like this coat. Oh, it's way more expensive than I remember. I really don't have any money. What the fuck happened? I just lost my money. Very weird. That, that, that has never happened to me before. It's a server bug. Let's see. I'm curious. The server bug? Or I'm actually out of money for no reason at all. Europe, just in case. Where's my money, bitch? Where's my motherfucking money? I wish I could scream and do like a loud voice right now, but it's... I live in a building, I cannot make noise. And my wife is sleeping, but she's... Uh, she's far away enough not to hear, not to hear anything. The money, have I money? Where's my money? That's new. That is very new. Oh, I just realized. Am I, am I in the same server now? Have I, have I said goodbye to the nice people? To the nice people. The nice people is not, they're not here anymore. Are they? I'm already on a different server now. That's like one of the things that I'd like if they started, well, they're eventually going to merge every fucking server together, so... In reality, there's no fucking point in actually having names for the servers. But it would be nice that I, if I could back, I could go back to the same server I just was. Like I, imagine like I was playing, like I was talking with that guy, I was enjoying the conversation, even though I was really not that much attentive, I, I must confess. Not to that many things at the same time any, anyway. Uh, but now I'm like, where the fuck is my money? And why can't I go back to the same place I was playing? Anyway, I'm just sad because of the commotion that there was on that server. Okay, but here I think the FPSs are higher, so we're ready for that. I mean, how, ma how many people? How many people do we have here? Where did I see it? Here. It's here? I have to turn it on if I want to watch the thing work. No. On just the other day I could see how many people were online on the server. And I'm not going to count, but I'm gonna say it's like 50. What was the... What? What was... 
What was the anger? I didn't add number two. Number two. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to speed up around the left ski. See how it looks. And then. Oh, and then nothing. I mean, I, I'd go to Olisar. But. I don't wanna wait. To go there. I mean, I am going to spawn there when the, the new patch comes about. Which should be actually like the next time I'm gonna play this game. Got curious about the. The old stuff, take, like take a good look at the, at this. I'd go to watch the, the other ones near Crusader, but Last Kit Me was like the one that I never really liked, because it always looked weird to me. Now I wanna see that weirdness again for one last time. One more time. Origin jump boards at your One more time. Gonna celebrate. You're free to launch. I'm free. Launch complete. Lancio completo. Landing of gear up. Fly safe, okay. Fly safe, he says. Does he know me? Oh, this still happens. Oh, this still happens. Oh, I'm glad I came here. This still happens. Ah, Levski. I'm glad I came here. I knew it. There was going to be something that would make me say, I hope this is not going to be here anymore. It's the last time I'm going to see this bug. Ah, memories. Memories. How are we full speed? I never even thought about getting close to this. Oh shit! I exited my seat. I don't want them shots over my faces. even land here and I, I never tried it like I said I've never even come close to this this thing in all these years I never actually thought let's go close to those things try to land it's not like Levski has gotten that much attention this one looks better and this look well, let's see if there's actual collision here. We have collision. We do. We have collision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have collision. Let's see how this looks up close. That reminds me of the I don't know the, the, I don't remember the name. Oh, as a whoa, oh, that's that's something. 
supposed to be a reflection cube map, but it's uh, very misplaced. Like it shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't actually go like that. I mean, it's, I mean, I know it's obvious that it shouldn't do this. What I'm saying is like the resolution position. It's it's a cube map too small for the um, for the geometry it's in. So when you try to move around, when you move around, it tries to follow you like normally it would, but it's not so stretched. Way too stretched. And the last thing I'm gonna do on this stream is gonna be looking up like I'm doing now and choose an asteroid to go. Oh, probably gonna be one of these because they're closer together. But I'll probably oh, there's and walls here. There's there are catwalks there. I wish there was actually some stairs or ladders something here. Oh thing else going on here as well. Oh What's going on here my friend Is this the same thing? It's also a cube map. A reflection cube map that's been placed on something that was not supposed to have it. That's what it looks like. Look, Neo, I have mastered not only the spoon but the metal tower itself. Ooh. Um. Pop, 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 pop. Outside, please. Sun is coming up. The sun is here. Morning is here. <clears throat> oh, well, let's go where the sun is, but we don't fight sunrise. Don't fight the sunrise, son. You will lose. We'll speed ahead towards the sun. This low atmosphere is so great to acceleration. Love it. Especially for the... Oh, sh okay, 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 okay. Especially for the engines. Don't complain as much. Where was the sun? On top or it's on top?
this point I'm kind of like orbiting the the moon. Just kind of. Oh, the, the the spherical thing was still around there. You. Sometimes you just gotta have faith, otherwise, like f those shooting games and whatnot. If you don't take the shot, you're never going to hit. So sometimes you just gotta go with it and hope everything goes well. If it doesn't, hey, it's just a game. I get so scared sometimes. My my SSD barely keeps up with the, all the popping. Like you can bet your ass, this is gonna be like one of the few things. The close one. One of the few things I'm going to try on the next patch. Coming to Dalamar. Going to Levski and check out how the performance looks. I was liking like have like 24 FPS right close or oh that's the asteroid I'm going to that's for sure it looks very interesting from here 29 and it's stuttering all over the place just trying to load in all the, um, the rocks well at least they don't pop in in front of me like sometimes like GTA does like there I am driving a car so fucking fast that out of nowhere a tree pops right in front of me and then I die I guess well not in GTA but here but that doesn't happen here thankfully anyway I'm going up to the, um, the asteroid Gonna land on it and going to blow up my ship, eject from it, and then I'll take off my space helmet and have a peaceful, peaceful death in space. I wonder how far away the asteroids are. From here they kind of look like they are on top of each other, but I wonder how is it going to look. I'm going to go for the bigger one, like this one. On a land maybe right over there. Yeah, right over there. Oh, I need to try something. But I don't have many weapons. Machine gun would have been better, but I'm going to try to spray mine well just an X or something on the side of the ship because I saw some guy etching his name on the um, on his ship and I was like how did you do that you cannot shoot your ship and then I was like maybe if you turn off your shields you can shoot it cleanly on the hull that's it that is what I'm going to try almost there Wait. and meanwhile we're leaving Levski and everything else behind. And just, I just like this is one of the many reasons, many reasons why people play this game is like I hope one day I get to like make a hole by the glad I came to first person to start avoiding them. Other ones are popping in. I wonder if I one day I can be able to like just make a hole inside a random rock and just live there for the rest of my life. Would it be nice? Just find a rock, middle of space, fucking nowhere, anything. Just make a little hole and live there. Be happy. Would that be nice? So stop. At reducing that speed. Oh, it's I'm coming in too fast. 
Flip and burn, everybody. Flip and burn. Engines will overheat and then decouple for a bit. Longer overheating and cruise. And we're done. Now, if I didn't do that, I'd be like way over there. Why am I? Why do I have the landing gear? I don't need the landing gear. Landing gear raised. The fuck is the landing gear? Actually, no. Let's let let's use the landing gear. I mean, I know there's no gravity. I don't care. Now I think it's going to be like 3.9 that they're going to update the asteroids. Because right now the geometry isn't on point and the textures are obviously as well not on point. And I took out the landing gear because I want to see where the geometry starts. Sometimes it's not quite where you see. See? See? See what I mean? You know what I mean? It's exactly this. Where does the geometry... Oh, there it is. There's the geometry. There's the collision mesh. Now I don't want to land here. I want to land on something that looks prettier. Like actually be able to land. And sometimes the geometry is up instead of below. I mean above instead of below. And... I'd also like to have the view that I had before, like looking up and having... Are those the ones? Damn yeah, man, po points of reference in space. Orientation is a bitch. I'm gonna try over there. Probably gonna have better geometry collisions there, I hope. And nothing. I can see that that uh, asteroid is not casting a shadow. I mean, not as it should. This whole area should have, should be dark right now. It's not. It will be, but it's not yet. People think that making games is easy. I'm a game developer. Games are not easy, especially games like this. Game like this, man. From a, a professional standpoint, the game is... It's, it's, it's not even a game, it's... It. It's a simulation project. I don't know what... One geometry here? No? Oh well. Kinda. If I actually did... Actually do this, it's like my ship is camouflaged. Forgot to open the outside. Hmm? And I have an invisible ship. Amazing, ladies and gentlemen, amazing. Now, where was the moon? I even see it from here. Oh, there she is. Now, if this only had a good texture here, that would be grand. Kind of off like the... I mean, the asteroids are the way they are since they were ever put here, like, years ago. They, they haven't touched the asteroid tech, the first implementation. That's why it looks so sucky. Just not up with the rest of the game yet. It's just this all a placeholder. It's here, it looks pretty and whatnot, but it's still a placeholder. Still a lot that needs to be changed here. Anywho, let's get on our ship. Fly a little bit away. Get our self-destruct on. And getting ready for our goodbyes. I think if it wasn't 3.8, it was like 3.9 or something. I, I remember... I do remember having seen the... something about asteroids on the... on the roadmap. Oh! It's that thing, you, you can enter the ship by using the, the interaction 
and when you do it like it's always a clean entrance and exit but you can just do what I did and just go for it and try to get in by yourself sometimes you fall sometimes you don't so it depends on the speed and the angle at which you come in the ship your angle is a little bit off sometimes that's all it takes for you to fall Our citizen. Like even just for eye candy, even if there was no gameplay at all in the game, like just for the eye candy, I, I'd buy the game. I, I would. I've I've spent hours just flying around in the the space engine simulating simulation thing, which is basically just a space simulation thing. There's no actual gameplay. Just you walk around. You fly around and watch how the how stuff looks. I mean, now it it's not only that; it's actually a game. So that's amazing, man. It's really amazing. Now let's go there, just because it has a very weird look with the sun behind it. Like a very weird asteroid. Actually, let's just crash into the asteroid. Oh, I wanted to try the, the stuff. I'm not going to forget it this time. Fuck you. Alert. Think I care about the engines overheating? No, it's the shields. Yeah, that's the one. Meanwhile, the ship is stopping, and while it stops, I'm moving out. Let's see if this works. Like, if I exit like this, just have to wait for the animation to kick in. Which is why I don't do it, because I don't want to wait for the animation to kick in. Alright, I just go for it. Oh, it's closing as well. If this works, eh, it does work. But I should have. Um, I had the ballistic gun now. Since it's this laser gun, it's doing uh, another effect. So I have the ballistic gun that do, that used actual physical bullets instead of lasers. It would have looked. Would have looked more precise, but. It, Oh, I'm out of guns. Now I kind of wish I had like a whole arsenal and just I just go for it and <laughs> buy everything. I guess it did work. Turn turning off your shields, firing at your. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. Oh, it has the same cube map thing going on. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It's actually in the ship as well. Oh well. Still, it looks nice. If it wasn't moving, if it wasn't moving, I would be like so fucking flabbergasted. But the 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 outside does seem to be casting a shadow on the inside. Does it not? Hmm. Damn, Star Citizen, man, it's crazy game. Crazy game right here. Like I now, I have that huge hole, and I can see the the hole from all the way. Oh, come on! You see the hole? Show me the hole. Why am I looking there? Well. Even just the flashlight, the actual light that comes out of it, like the fact that you can use your ship to light up an asteroid, that's amazing. Like the, the dynamic light there, and then it's all over a multiplayer game. The game is crazy, man. Flare 
Strike countermeasure active. Like for for the people that don't know programming and stuff like that, look at what what it looks like. Looks amazing, but for someone that knows the work that's behind it, come on. <sighs> really, it's it's a source of inspiration, really. All this, the, the architecture, the, the, the way that they're doing things. Oh well. Let's get a move on, actually. Let's get a move on. Time to die. I'm gonna do the... Um, actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn off my engines. Just gonna leave it, gonna exit, and I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. Gonna probably get out at the last moment. Gonna wait a bit. We'll get out almost at the last moment and let... Well, not almost, because the guy is going to roll up a bit. I probably need like five seconds to get the camera looking at. Let's hope I just don't hit anything before. Now it would be a nice time to shit myself. Why isn't it? Okay. Almost. Almost jumping ship. I'm gonna hit right there. I have anything on this ship that I can grab? I can. Let's just grab a bottle. Always good to have some drink in the middle of space. Sometimes I actually do this. I don't know if you know, but you can like place it here. And it's it looks nice when you're in the cockpit. We just get another one before we before we die. It would be about time for me to jump. I don't know, man. These, these, these things are so fucking huge. I don't want to be that far away. Probably to be... 5 seconds. Uh, I'm going to jump now. <laughs> I jumped too soon, didn't I? It was still too soon. <laughs> it's already so far away that it looks like it still has a way to go. Already 15 kilometers off. 20. Well, I guess it blew inside the geometry so we didn't see the explosion. But believe me, it exploded. Well, this is it. Here I am in the middle of space with my water bottle. I guess I want to go thirsty. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I will because you cannot actually drink water yet. So... Let's take this bottle and just throw it over there so we never see it again is it did it did it 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 what happened to it i threw it I didn't throw it that way now let's find the bottle ladies and gentlemen who can find the bottle now 
Like actually imagine I have like a group of people in an area and you drop something and you like you were like uh, Mutan Roshi went with Goku and Krillin. Like find the rock in the middle of the forest. Like go, yeah, go, find the rock. Give you a ship if you do it. Huh? 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 Oh well. Oh, I guess I'm going to suffocate. Nice to suffocate. Let's suffocate together. I still don't know the fuck I don't have any money. I'm going to do a... Um, ticket about this. Not that I care much about the, the money that I don't have, but it's mostly because of... Actually not having any money out of nowhere. Imagine if I had like 200k. 200k, imagine that. How that would be. See? He likes it. Who needs hair anyway? I don't need it. Elsie's lol. I don't know why. No. Well. I guess that's it for today. It was nice watching the whole Levski. All this whole area. Still looks. It's still very, very much like I remember. When the graphics are a bit better now. Don't tell the lightning and the. The lightning and the shaders are slightly different. Ever so slightly. Let's, let's say something to this dude before we go. Like, like... I don't know what to say to him. Orange. I hope he does as well. Remember Anthony Hanaka. What was this sign here before? I, I remember the statue. I don't remember the sign. Yeah, I told you that people. I told you I'd see them. Now for a magic trick. I hope you enjoyed it. Anywho, see you soon. Thank you for watching.